the bunny's fluffy tail. This is to sit up here. What I need to make this is I obviously need the pattern. I need some um, double-sided fusible webbing. This is I just use this so I can keep everything together before I stitch it on. I need my felt. I need a piece of wee piece of Velcro that uh, I'm going to remember this time to put on before I finish it. And I again I will use some of that bag stiffening. Very very stiff, fabulous stuff. I only use this because the pieces are so large and they need a lot of reinforcing if they're going to be able to survive the handling of a 15 month old uh, and still last the distance and I'm hoping for many many years from it. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need freezer paper to trace over your pattern with. Right, I'll get that all started. I'm going to trace my pattern um, trace that onto freezer paper then I'll iron that onto my felt and cut it out. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remember to attach my wee bit of velcro onto the back. So what I've done here is I've got my tail and I've attached the, the uh, interfacing bag interfacing to it and I've used that, that fusible webbing and you can see I'm doing quite a good pull there and it really adheres really really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm placing that tail down on the other felt for the back and I'm going to put that about central to everything around it. Remove that, turn that over and I'm going to stitch that down. Now when you sew Velcro onto these it's just really important that you match the thread of the Velcro that you're sewing. So because I'm sewing white, I'm going to stitch that on with white thread. Right, my wee piece of Velcro is all stitched on, so all that remains is that I take my felt and my stiffened felt piece, put a little scrap of double-sided fusible webbing, and I use a double thickness. As you can see, there's two there, and place that central to my Velcro dot. And um, I'll go away and iron, iron that on, and then I'll stitch around the outside and show you the finished product. Right, the tail is now finished, and this is what it looks like. And the tail comes off. Both of the feet come off. And that is the back of our bunny for decorating it. Now we're going to go on and make the front of the bunny. And that will mean I'll put, be putting two ears, I'll do a couple of different sets of eyes that can be interchanged. We'll do the mouth. I've got the feet. We'll just turn the feet around this way to get the bunny's feet at the front. Um, and I will probably do a bow, um, either that they can place anywhere they like, depending on what they want to do. And um, there you have it. That's the uh, beginning of my felt Easter. Bunny. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoy making your own.